WWE 2K24 officially comes out in less than six days at the time of this recording. So, with that being said, we're going to give you a quick rundown of the legends and alumni that we think has been a big add to 2K24 this year. And then also we're going to look over the DLCs that were released on Monday. That way we can give you an aspect of what you're going to be looking forward to seeing with the season pass. Also what we are excited about with those being added. Of course, as always, if you want to join the wrestling community here at the Kraken headquarters, smash that subscribe button as we are posting wrestling content at least every day. And we do have our live watch alongs to hang out with the wrestling community. With that being said, let's hop right into this thing. Looking over the legends and alumni here, you see that we got a lot of high caliber. You got the Macho Man, Ravishing Rick Rude, Piper, Austin, and Superstar Billy Graham. Off the start, those are big names in the wrestling community if you grew up watching wrestling from the 70s to the early 2000s. Now, of course, in here you got Andre, Batista, you got Bad Bunny, who was, uh, of course, if no one has been keeping up with wrestling, he was a big aspect there for the last couple of WrestleManias. It was good to see the Boogeyman added into it. Ray Wyatt, of course, is in here. Bruno San Martino, Cactus Jack, China, Diesel. You got Doink the Clown, good old Dusty Rhodes, Farouk. George the Animal Steel, Holly Race, different versions of Hulk Hogan, The Snake Roberts, The Anvil, Nyhart, Ken Shamrock. That was a big surprise. We ain't seen a Ken Shamrock, I think, since SmackDown vs. Raw, or maybe a little after that. I'm not really exactly sure, to be honest. I know I didn't really get back into the wrestling games because of the quality after SmackDown vs. Raw. When 2K taking over until at least 2K22. Kurt Angle, Lita, Mankind, Maurice, Mighty, Molly, and Molly Holly were great add ons as well. Muhammad Ali, Razor Ramon. Now, with Razor Ramon, we've seen it in the trailer. We know that we're going to get the double intercontinental match with Shawn Michaels. So, cannot wait to. Not only get to do that WrestleMania experience, but also have Razor Ramon in the game. Ricky the Dragon, Steamboat, Rikishi. A big one that we noticed and one of our fan favorites growing up. Rob Van Dam, having him in the game was great. I remember when he used to wrestle around the house, hitting, you know, the Rolling Thunder, the Frog Splash, everything. Made it just so much better. You also got Shane McMahon, Stacy Keebler, who was inducted into the Hall of Fame, Stardust, Six, The Fiend. Good to see the Hurricane has made his way back into it. Uh, Trish Stratus, Ultimate Warrior, Uncle Howdy. Going to be a good aspect to have that character in the game as well. William Weagle. Uh, getting to play as Wade Barrett. I don't think it's going to be Bad News Barrett. I think we're actually going to get Wade Barrett this time. And then Yoko Zuna. With all the Legends alumni, Hall of Famers, and wrestlers that we have lost through over the years. This is a great list. And it accommodates all of them. And it truly gives us the aspect of WWE has listened to what we've wanted. And it also takes away a little bit of the community creation aspect because if we didn't have a wrestler we knew we could go to the community downloads uh, and get one that was close enough to it to make it work so i think that's what they went for here with adding the big roster so now with that being said let's look over all of the season pass add-ons as you can see there you got ddp the dudleys post Kyrie, cm punk carlito mcafee Lex Luger, Mr. Perfect, and Jade Cargill. Now, they're all coming in at different times throughout the course of the year. They're also going to be involved in different aspects, and they're going to have their own packs that add on to it. So, starting out with the fifth pack that will be added, you're going to have the WCW pack. That's where you're going to get DDP, 
Iron Sheik, Mr. Perfect, Great Muda, and Lex Luger. Those will all be the playable characters that are added in in November 13th. And then, of course, the My Faction content. You get a, a Superstar card. Big ones here for me is Sheik, DDP, Great Muda. And, uh, I mean, I wasn't really a big fan, truly perfect, and Lex Luger, but they did great things in the WWE. So, great additions to the WCW side of this. The fourth DLC that we're getting in September consists of Jay Cargill, who is a new addition to the WWE. Nia Jax, who has just recently came back. Michelle McCool, another great legend and alumni. Carlito, who we have not seen in a very long time on a wrestling game. Came back in mid-summer of last year. Kyrie Sane, who has just made her return. Lara Valkyrie, the NXT Women's Champion. Uh, and Dragon Lee. Uh, both of those NXT names are very big. They've done a lot of great things. Here we also got, you know, at least three returning and another add-in addition. So, of course, cannot wait to see who else they can add in, like Andrade, uh, Naomi later on that way you don't have to get them in a creation community download and also we just have seen sean spears return so if they put us another pack in that'd be a great additions or we will be more than happy to see them in 2k25 and then you have the pet mcafee pack which will be dropping july 24th you get mcafee him as a co-host and we'll get more information about that and, of course, more faction content as well. McAfee has done great things since he started taking over commentary. He had a great WrestleMania moment uh, with Stone Cold Steve Austin, uh, good old Mr. McMahon himself, and Austin Theory. So, I understand him getting a playable character because he's also had big moments on NXT where he went up against Adam Cole. And then just him on the mic, hearing him sit at desk commentating, very great there as well. So I'm glad to see that was added in. So of course, as always, you know, they're going to continue to give us those aspects to WWE 2K games. And I think as we continue to see these packs come out, there will be more and more other great ones. Then you got DLC pack number two, Post Malone and Friends. Of course, you're going to have Post. The Sensational Sherry, Mosh, Thrasher, Honky Tonk, and Jim Hart Manager. Jimmy Hart Manager, I do apologize. Um, Post, I think, would be a good add-in. I know a lot of people are upset about that, but Post Malone, he did make the soundtrack. He did help produce it, so I can see him getting one there. Honky Tonk Man, I don't really remember much of Honky Tonk Man. I know Jimmy Hart, I do believe he was nicknamed the Mouth of the South. I remember correctly so gonna be a great ad there as well ecw pack this way we get our cm punk our dudley boys sandman sandman has not been in it since smackdown versus raw uh and terry funk and then of course the my faction content you get ecw paul Heyman and a superstar cards so ecw pack i think there could be a few more in there you could probably you should i think in my opinion, Sabu was a big part of ECW. Dreamer, but I, I think it's a lot of issues with where they're currently at with the state of WWE and how their relationship is. But Sandman, Terry Funk, the Dudleys, great additions and actual playable characters this year. Rather than having to get a download from the community creations aspect. And then, of course, CM Punk. Got added in off the rip ASAP first thing. The community wanted it and that's what we got. So with that being said, there is the big additions to 2K24 that comes out on March 5th if you pre-ordered it. March 8th if you waited till the day of release. Of course, as always, wrestling fans, we will be live March 5th, 2024, giving you your 40 years of WrestleMania moments. And then we'll also be getting the Kraken Universe up and rolling. Cannot wait to go through that experience with y'all this year. As always, have a blessed day. Wrestling community, we'll see you this evening.